Now, now here's an interesting one I've noticed with psychopaths. That this sort of like imbecile behavior, uh, incompetence, coupled with a sense of self-righteous arrogance, because they think they're like some kind of a uh, visionary or genius, or they think they're some kind of intellectual based on something somebody else wrote, and they just actually, all they do is repeat it. They haven't actually thought about both sides of an issue. They haven't actually thought about it in any kind of real way. They'll just, they'll just pontificate uh, in a very arrogant and, and self, self-righteous manner to talk down to you uh, about an issue that especially if it has some kind of moral subtext uh, that it just makes them feel clever you know it just makes them feel uh, and, and they, they love that that's very common with psychopaths and this is part of a wider issue of their their lack of sort of if you take away their deviousness a lot of them are actually actually most of them are very very st like stupid and incompetent I'll give you an example of a psychopath this is actually I've actually Encountered this 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 actual scenario, this phenomenon with a couple of psychopaths, but they're useless at making documents. They're useless at formatting documents. They can't, or any kind of schematic or drawing that requires a, a layout or a plan for construction or design. They're apps. They're just terrible. You cannot believe how bad they are. One psychopath I had working for me at one time. I, well, I hired him to do some work for me. To and he, he had to measure out a, a floor plan of a building and it was pretty straightforward enough he had to measure out the floor plan of the building uh, do a simple drawing calculate the square footage and then give me an estimate based on the work that needed to be done and the materials basic stuff this was coming from someone who claimed to be a, like a hotshot like a uh, construction and engineer so uh, the guy writes out the document and hands it back to me and it was written in a con apart from the fact that it was just it just looked strange it, it it you know what should have been just simple boxes weren't there was there was all these kinds of elaborations surrounding it and uh, what was incredible was that the measurements were a mixture of imperial and metric for instance like if there was a measurement along a wall uh, it would be 14 feet six inches and nine centimeters or 22 feet 18 centimeters and two and a half inches i'm not kidding you or 14.5 no 14 and a half centimeters just just bizarre and this person is a complete turned out to be an unbelievable psychopath and a con artist so they're terrible with formatting documents they're terrible with uh processing a sort of a, a cognitive uh, advancement through a project or through a stage. The only the only tests they can seem to pass are multiple choice where they check off the boxes and chances that they've had the paper they've snuck the paper from the previous person who took the test before to them. They don't haven't actually properly studied for it because a lot of them can't study. They're just not that. They're just, they just they they usually get their qualifications by default. That's if they haven't been, that's if they actually do qualify, but most, most of them don't. They may do a couple of years here and then and spend the rest of their lives acting like they're the, like the greatest expert on that subject. So that's something to be aware of with psychopaths. They have the really, this, 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 oh, this m sort of imbecile mindset coupled with self-righteous arrogance that they're sort of so clever and you're not, and yet you may be far more intelligent than them, but because they can repeat usually something in a dogmatic way that you will find them out you will notice that anyone who's dealt with a psychopath through the workplace will tell you that they're they're completely incompetent or anyone who's done dealt with them in education that they cannot achieve anything in a straightforward cognitive way uh, they have it's almost like they exist within their own world and they do because ultimately they think that not, no other opinion on earth matters except theirs so get remember that one. That's a good one too. That they, they, they're just useless when it comes to measurements, documents, plans, and schematics. They they one of the old-fashioned terms for a psychopath was a moral imbecile. Uh, I think they're basically most of them are ninety percent of them are imbeciles in every way, uh, except them being devious and repeating what other people have written or said. They they come up with nothing original themselves except how to scam somebody. Okay, so...